Chattanooga greeted the latest gem on the waterfront, a revamped Walnut Street Bridge. Yep, this Sunday, the Parks Foundation celebrates with a parade at 2 o'clock. Now, to appreciate what a struggle it was to save the old bridge, we're going to take you all the way back to 1978 in our archives. Engineers finally closed the bridge that was built in the 1890s. Yeah, they said it wasn't safe to carry traffic anymore and might even be in danger of collapsing. The plan was to tear it down, but a community group had other ideas. Now, here are the dreamers, the skeptics, and the people who got it done. The Walnut Street Bridge has been closed for nine years, but members of local citizen groups will string 4,600 light bulbs across the old structure. The idea is to raise awareness of the bridge, the potential new uses of the bridge, such as a pedestrian walkway, which we think uh, uh, could be very attractive. Earlier this year, the city allocated $15,000 to study the bridge. One study says the bridge has a sound structure, and the other is forthcoming. But for now, citizens like Meredith Franklin will continue to fight to save what they believe is a historic landmark. If we can just make people aware of the bridge, that it is in place, that it is playing a role in our community. I like to think of it as telling the story of Chattanooga's history. In the past year, the task force hired two engineering firms to closely examine the Walnut Street Bridge, and both found the limestone foundation to be sound and safe, and not about to collapse, as a report several years ago had indicated. The proposed plan will open the bridge for pedestrian use only and not for vehicular traffic. Dr. Lichtenstein will simply reinforce and replace the weakened elements of the bridge and replace the asphalt with a wooden deck. If you really want to save this old bridge, put your money where your mouth is, in other words. That's basically, I guess that's a harsh way to say it, but that's what this group is saying. If you want to save this bridge, you need to come forward with some help. But Mayor Roberts says you will not have to worry about a tax increase to pay for it. If the funds aren't raised in 18 months, he says the city may have to reconsider the fate of the bridge. One of the projects rated as C+, that's still currently underway, is the renovation of the Walnut Street Bridge. Private donations are being solicited for that, but three and a half million has already been contributed by the federal and local governments. I don't know who's going to get anything out of it. I think the thing needs to be torn down and uh, let the river traffic move. If it's not going to be used for automobile traffic, then it needs to be torn down. This has a special treatment with the oil, and it hasn't went through a heating stage yet. And when the sun hits it, a little oil comes out, so they put the sand on for extra protection. Hopefully it will engender new development on the North Shore. There's a group there working to uh, improve their streetscape. And uh, we think it'll make a grand park uh, essentially in use 24 hours a day. The bike shop moved to the north side of the river three years ago. The gamble may pay off. After being closed for years, the bridge reopens tomorrow as a pedestrian park. Don't rock the jukebox. Only hear some John. At Northside Lunch, Alma Miller is banking on the bridge. She's cooked burgers and served up tons of chili to customers since the 1960s. This diner is as old as the Walnut Street Bridge. We have the best chili in town. I don't know if our chili will draw the people in here or not. The reopening of the Walnut Street Bridge will link the businesses on Fraser Street to Chattanooga's downtown development boom. So if you're looking to get a picture framed, some health food or some outdoor gear, Companies north of the river want you to know they are open for business. I'm all aboard Canway, Tennessee. I want to see Alabama and sail on the bay. Go steaming down the river on that Henry Clay. Red fields of cotton and blackberry wine. Yeah. <laughs> really? We were here when they did. <laughs>